The company would amend the board committee and let me not be numbered with their elect. The righteous panel will chasten me with mercy and rebuke me for letting off the oil of the sinner and of my head. For yet more is my prayer in the midst of their pleasures. Their judges have been swallowed up here by the rock. They shall hear my words for they have been beaten. As a cloud of earth is broken upon the ground, so have their bones been scattered before the mouth of Jesus. For on thee, O Lord, Lord, are mine eyes, and thee have I hoped. Take not away my soul. Keep me from the snare which they have laid for me, and from the stumbling blocks of them that work iniquity. The sinners shall fall into their own net. I am alone until I pass by. With my voice unto the Lord have I cried. With my voice unto the Lord in the night supplication. I will pour out before him my petition. Before him will I declare my troubles. When my spirit was fainting within me, then thou knewest my paths. In this path wherein I have walked, they hid a sinner from me. I looked upon my right hand. Uh, I looked upon my right and watched, but there was none to keep me. Flight has failed me, and there is none to watch for my soul. I have cried out to thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my hope, thou art my portion in the land of the living. Attend unto my supplication, for I have been public exceedingly. Deliver me from them that are persecuting me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may give thanks to your name. The doors being shut and the disciples are civil. You appear to them as Almighty, O Jesus and God. You stood in their midst, giving them peace. You granted the Holy Spirit to them, commanding them to wait in Jerusalem until they would be clothed with the power from on high. Therefore we cry.
from the warning watch let Israel hope from the Lord. The disciples were assembled on the eighth day, and the Savior appeared to them. He gave them peace and said to Thomas, Come, apostle, feel my hands, which were pierced by the nails. Most wonderful doubt of Thomas, it brought the hearts of the faithful to knowledge. And with fear he cried, My Lord and my God, glory to you. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. The disciples were assembled on the eighth day, and the Savior appeared to them. He gave them peace and said to Thomas, Come, apostle, feel my hands, which were pierced by the nails. Most wonderful doubt of Thomas, it brought the hearts of the faithful to knowledge. And with fear he cried, My Lord and my God, glory to you. Praise the Lord, all nations. Praise him, all peoples. After your rising, O Lord, though the doors were shut, you came to your assembled disciples. You granted them peace. Even Thomas believed, seeing your hands inside, he confessed you as Lord and God, who saved those who hope in you, O lover of mankind. For his mercy is abundant towards us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. When the doors were shut, Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples. He called their hearts and granted them peace. Then he spoke to Apostle Thomas, Do you not believe that I am risen from the dead? Bring your hands here and touch my side. Be no longer an unbeliever. Proclaim my passion and my resurrection to all, that everyone may join your cry. My Lord and my God, glory to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and all the ages of the ages. Amen. When the doors were shut, Jesus came to his disciples. The apostle Thomas, by divine dispensation, was not with them. For he spoke these words, Unless I see the Master myself, unless I see his side flowing with baptismal blood and water, unless I see those wounds which have healed all mankind, unless I see not a spirit, but flesh and bones, I will not believe. Glory to you, O Lord, for you confirm Thomas in faith, and have trampled death by death. Wisdom arise, O joyous light of the holy glory of the immortal heavenly holy blessed Father, O Jesus Christ. Now that we have come to the setting of the sun, and behold the light of the evening, we praise God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, for he did his at all time to worship thee with voices of praise. O Son of God, and giver of life, wherefore all the world doth glorify thee. And let us be attentive, peace be to all, and to thy spirit. The 
wisdom is the attentive. The Lord reigns, he is clothed in majesty. The Lord reigns, he is clothed in majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength and has girded himself. The Lord reigns, he is clothed in majesty. For he has established a world which shall not be moved. The Lord reigns, he is clothed. In majesty. Holiness befits thy house, O Lord, not the length of days. The Lord reigns in his clothes. In majesty. Let us say with our soul, with our mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. O Lord, Almighty God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken, and have mercy. Sinless, 
Let us ask of the Lord, bread did, O Lord, for an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord, bread did, O Lord, for the pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask of the Lord, Lord, bread did, O Lord, for all things that are good and beneficial for our souls. And for peace in the world, let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, that we may complete the remaining time of our lives in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, for a Christian into our lives, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord. Commemorate in our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and in our Virgin Mary, together with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God, to thee, O Lord. For thou art a good God and a lover of humankind, and unto thee do we send up glory, to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Peace be to all. Bow your heads to the Lord, to thee, O Lord. O Lord our God, who just bow the heavens, you come down for the salvation of the human race. Look upon your servants and your inheritance. For to you, the dread judge who loved humankind, and your servants bowed their heads and submissively be inclined their necks, awaiting not help from men, but your mercy, in expectation of your salvation. Whom do you protect at all times, both during the present evening and any approaching night, from every adverse action of the devil through vain thoughts and evil imaginations? Blessed and most glorified be the majesty of your kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages. Thank you. 